check the first link in the info box down below. Get your very own Swamp Family pop socket today. They are available in the standard pop socket and a mirrored pop socket where you can have one and two times mirror magnification. Get yours today, limited time only. When I say bananas, you say peppers. What was that? Today, we are finally gonna finish a saga. Thanks to my winter cleaning, I found this little box on the floor of my boosted packs. It's the last five packs, I think, that we have to open. They were just making a weird like squeaking sound. <gasps> you guys, um, I was just sitting here filming a stationary video because I wanted to upload a video. I feel like it's been like several days since I've been on this channel, but maybe it actually hasn't been that long. You guys, January is just a month. It feels very long and very short. At the same time, I never see the sun. I feel like it's always like cloudy, overcast, or just plain dark. It's just night. It's night at five o'clock now. So anyway, I felt like I've been gone from this channel for a long time. I just filmed a stationary video. I feel like I kind of had to like remember how to talk and push a button on a camera. And maybe that was like a weird video. I don't know. I'm going to edit it. We're going to find out if it's weird. Now I'm sure I've sold you guys on watching that video whenever it comes out. But you know what? I found these and I wanted to get to the bottom of the box. Literally. I wanted to open the rest of the packs. I can't believe we bought an entire box with no gift cards inside of it. I thought that that would be fun to like see with you guys. Like if we pull any cash or gift cards or anything out of these, I swear I see people opening these on TikTok all the time. I don't know if it's like special like influencer ones <laughs> that people are getting on TikTok or something that have like better stuff inside of it, I don't know. Or if it was just like they were putting better stuff in. I totally missed it and I wish that I didn't, but this is series two of the boosted packs. And they did like a special like Christmas edition that was like something to do with like Mariah Carey, but there was also like gift cards, cash, and all kinds of other stuff in there. And I saw tons of people getting gift cards, cash, yada yada. So I thought, hey, let's do the last little, there's only four, so this is probably gonna be a very quick video. But let's see, let's see what we're gonna get. I forgot I needed scissors for these. I have their little like mischief app. That's the company that makes these. Since I started watching people open these, like I have now learned that all of the like IDs and cards and stuff, it's just something that the company mischief is printing. It's not actual, real like old IDs and stuff from people's wallets, which I don't know how silly I am for thinking that. The very first thing we have is a student ID. Student from Hunter, the University of New York. I've never heard that. The one card. I am still covering up these numbers and their names just because I don't know like how much is true or fake. I've never heard of Hunter University, but like I've said in past videos, a lot of these things have to do with like businesses and universities and stuff in New York. And I'm here in Texas, so I don't, I don't know much about that. Um, so this is a certified forklift operator card. So this is actually hilarious because I swear this Forklift Academy, sometimes I get the weirdest YouTube ads and I swear like Forklift Academy is like a commercial, like an ad I've gotten on YouTube before. So it seems like it would be a forklift operator card that expires on 6-15-2024. It does have somebody's first and last name on it. It has a date of issue. I don't know. Once again, we have the Patrick Bateman business card from American Psycho. I feel like a lot of you guys were like really into this one before. This was like one of y'all's favorite cards. And then lastly, we have this tarot card. I swear we've gotten this one before as well. It's really pretty. It's the sun card. And that looks kind of cool. Like at first I thought that these were like vintage-y. I mean, I'm sure it's a reprint of a vintage tarot card, but I also know I say tarot weird. <laughs> and every time I say tense, people like always say I say tent weird too. They're like, oh, if you say tent, like lip tent, what do you say when you sleep in a sleeping tent? And it's just 
the same to me. Tent. Tent is a tent. The same with pen, like a writing pen, stick pen, safety pen. I can't think of another way that I would pronounce these words, but quite apparently I'm saying it wrong. All right, up first we have the Extra Care CVS card. We've once again gotten this one and this is like a loyalty rewards card kind of thing. Queens Public Library. So we've gotten a couple New York Public Library cards before. It doesn't have any signature on it. And some of y'all did say that y'all got these or had friends that got them and tried to use them. And they're definitely like just fake reprints. Like you can't do anything with them. These are the ones that are like kind of just funny to me. It has people's personal information on it. It's like a voter card, but it clearly just says like the county is mischief. So like, obviously that's definitely not gonna be <laughs> real. And those are the ones that I kind of like wish that they didn't do because like, it's just, it's like so fake. Do you know what I mean? Like at least like the CVS one looks real. We got a Blockbuster one. If that one at least like looked real, but the ones that are just like so fake, like those are the ones that are just like really silly to me. So Dyson, we've gotten this one before. It is a, it has somebody's name and the address where they work down there. So it appears to be like a real Dyson business card. And then lastly, we have a Napster business card. And this one was honestly one of my favorite ones to get so far, cause I don't know, Napster. Only two packs left. So I'm gonna have to say the cash and the gift cards and stuff is like really, 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 really rare because we've unboxed like almost 20 of these now and I have not gotten a single gift card. So this is pretty cool, even though it is definitely a reprint. It's a Lord of the Rings um, movie ticket stub. It looks pretty convincing. I don't remember what we got last time. Superman, I think. And that one was also like really cool, but yeah, definitely fake. We have another Patrick Bateman card. We have a clean card, laundry. We've gotten this one before. At first I kind of thought maybe it was a gift card, but it's not, I don't know what it is. And then we have a Blockbuster membership card, which I really, really like these as well. Um, but they're definitely fake because I was thinking back to my own. Ah! And then we got another, we got another CVS care card. So I think that's our third one of these. Um, yeah, so I thought that the Blockbuster ones were real, but then I remembered like my own Blockbuster card. It was just a really thin piece of paper that was like laminated. And then a bunch of y'all tagged me too. There's actually like still, I guess, one Blockbuster left and they still uh, make cards there. So a lot of y'all were tagging me in the card making TikTok video, which was so fun. I really do miss like movie rental stores. I feel like that was just like kind of a fun thing to do, you know? Um, oh my God, we have another CVS card. How is this possible? Um, we have a Blue Cross Blue Shield insurance card from Arizona, which once again, this stuff is just so weird. I mean, y'all said that these are like definitely fake, but it does have somebody's like real name and address and stuff on it. Uh, who is that? I don't know. Ooh, I don't think we've gotten any of these before. It is a Lockheed Martin card. If this is like somebody famous, like let me know. I feel like I didn't know why any of the things in here, like wh why were they in here? I don't know. And then we have another Allstate. Didn't we just get this? I swear we just got two that are like exactly the same. So an Allstate insurance card. So that's it, you guys. That is the completed saga of the Mischief Boosted Packs. Overall, I think if I could get these again, like series four, I definitely would. But I feel like I could be happier more with just like 10 
or five. I feel like I got so excited because I saw like just little glimpses and glimmers of Boosted Packs Volume 1. Um, and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get a bunch of these. But yeah, I thought that there was gonna be like more variety than there was. Like we got so many repeats, which I kind of like was not expecting and I didn't really think that there would be anything like that valuable like I thought even if we got a gift card like it would be more the excitement of just looking up the value of the gift card than actually like getting a gift card I don't know how silly that sounds so definitely I think that the American Psycho cards were my favorite as well as my all-time favorite which is the Leonardo DiCaprio like the joke driver's license but this one is like pretty convincing it's definitely like as silly as like when you go to like you know if you go to like the beach and there's those like little souvenir shops and they have the wall of like the alien driver's license and he comes from Roswell you know it's like definitely like a joke kind of thing but this one is actually like more convincing it, it's just kind of funny you know other than that I just like that that was honestly like the biggest disappointment to me was the sheer like number of repeats so if I can get a season four if they do a series four is it called season edition if they do a fourth edition I will definitely buy some but not as many anyway now I've just rambled I've rambled for two additional minutes but anyway if you're not already and you'd like to be hit the button down below subscribe become a member of the banana pepper squad and I almost said give a banana its wings but come hang out with me for future videos also uh you guys can check out all the links in the info box down below the first link will of course take you guys to swamp family pop sockets and uh the next link will take you guys to my snapchat show I upload brand new episodes every Monday and Thursday afternoon and also down there there will be a link to my TikTok and you guys can follow me on TikTok at Graveyard Girl. Until I see you guys again which is gonna be very very soon stay happy stay healthy stay sassy stay banana peppery I love you guys so so much and I'll be back again very very soon.